Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at why it's important for a test for an iron to be unique. So the best way to explain why an iron test must be unique is to have a look at some examples. So we're going to have a look at Ca2+, a calcium iron, Al3+, aluminium iron, and Fe2+, an iron iron. Now if we take all of these in solution and we add sodium hydroxide to them, we get a precipitate formed. If we have aluminium, as you can see here, we put that in and it makes a white precipitate. If we put iron in, iron 2 gives us a green precipitate. So that's fine so far. However, if we take calcium and put that into sodium hydroxide, as you can see here, we get a white precipitate again. So we've got two ions that give the same result, both calcium and aluminium. So the key thing here, if a test for an ion is not unique, you don't know which cation or which iron is present. Therefore, you must find another test, another way to find out which is which. Now, there are lots of different ways the examiner can test this. Here is one example where it says, a test was carried out on an unknown solution where a few drops of sodium hydroxide were added. A white precipitate formed in the solution. Explain why this test does not identify the cation in the unknown solution. And it's worth two marks. So based on what we've just been through, what you've just seen, pause the video, have a go at answering it, and we'll see what you've got in a minute. Okay, let's go through. So you've got a white precipitate. The key thing here is more than one iron or more than one cation can produce a white precipitate. That's going to get you one mark. And then it's talking about a bit more detail, which ones in particular, like we've talked through today, aluminium and calcium. So you could turn around and say aluminium and calcium both produce white precipitates, that's going to get you two marks. Now as I said, there are lots of different ways that they can ask you this question, but it all comes down to the same thing. It must be unique, otherwise you don't know what iron is present, you can't be certain. So that brings me on to the review question, which is explain why it is important for a test for an iron to be unique. And that brings this video to an end. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.